Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from IIT Jam MS 2022, problem 21. The problem says that in a store, the daily demand of milk in liters is a random variable having exponential lambda distribution where lambda is positive. At the beginning of the day, the store purchases C liters of milk at a fixed price B per liter. The milk is then sold to the customers at a price at a fixed price S which is greater than B per liter. At the end of the day, the unsold milk is discarded. Then the value of C that maximizes the expected net profit for the store equals what? There are four options given. So first of all, let X denote the daily demand of milk. Then X obviously follows exponential lambda given it. It is given that the daily demand follows exponential lambda distribution, right? Now the cost price of C liters of milk at the price of B per liter is B times C, right? B, it's BC, right? So the total cost of C liters of milk is BC, the cost price, the first price at which the store buys the milk. Now, the daily demand, if it is less than the X, if X is less than C, if X is less than C, that is the, if the daily demand is less than the amount of milk available, then the selling price of X liters of milk is SX, right? Because it's sold it's being sold at s per liter so s times x and the profit is sx minus bc why because obviously it, only x amounts of milk x liters of milk is being sold and the price the selling price is s per liter so this is the selling price and this is the cost price right so profit is this one and if x is greater than or equals to c that means if the demand exceeds c then obviously we can only sell only sell up to C liters of milk, right? Because that is the only amount of milk available at the store. If it is greater than C, we cannot sell the excess amount of milk that is in demand. We cannot. C is the utmost. C is the uh, total amount of milk that we have in the store. So that is the only thing we can sell. We cannot sell more than that. So that means the selling price of C liters of milk is SC. That means the profit again is SC minus BC. So let Y denote the profit. Therefore, obviously, Y is SX minus BC. If X is less than C, here. As I've just said, if x is less than c, the profit is sx minus bc. And if x is greater than or equals to c, then y is sc minus bc. Now, we need to find the expected net profit. That means the ex we need to find expected net profit of the store. That means we need to find expectation of y, right? We need to find expectation of y. Now, this is a conditional expectation. This has been splitted out. This has been case-wise. Case it depends on x. The distribution of y depends on x. So, expectation of y is expectation of sx minus bc given x less than c times probability x less than c plus expectation of sc minus bc given x greater than equal c times probability x greater than equal c now this actually boils down to nothing but s times expectation of x given x less than c minus bc whole multiplied by probability x less than c and this part is obviously constant so this is constant right so conditional expectation of a constant is again a constant so sc minus bc times probability x greater than equals c but these parts are very easy to calculate we know it's a exponential lambda distribution though so the cdf is very easy to can is very easy to find uh, figure out right it's very easy to so only need to calculate this one expectation of x given x less than c so expectation of x given x less than c is integral zero to c x fx dx by probability x less than c after doing all the calculations this is the calculation as you can see clearly after doing all the calculations this is the integral it's a very easy integration actually it's not that difficult at all ultimately the answer is minus e to the minus lambda c whole multiplied by c plus 1 by lambda divided by probability x less than c so coming back to the original problem expectation of y is equals to s minus expectation of this one times probability of this one minus bc the probability of this one plus sc minus bc times probability of this one now we know this this is nothing but this expectation of x given x less than c is this one so after just putting all the values we obviously know this one and this one right probability x less than c is nothing but this one one minus e to the minus lambda c and probability x greater than equals c is nothing but e to the minus lambda c so we already know all the values after putting all the values we get this one Expectation of y is negative of s by lambda times e to the minus lambda c plus bc. Now suppose, just for example, say this is a function of c, phi of c, say. 
Then phi prime of c is minus s by lambda e to the minus lambda c times minus lambda plus b. We are differentiating with respect to c. This is the phi prime of c, the first derivative of c, first derivative of the function phi with respect to c. Now, this one, this is greater than zero. If this one is greater than zero, that means if c is less than this value, minus one by lambda times natural log of v by s, and phi prime c is negative. If this one is negative, that means if c is greater than this value, again this particular point. That means the function, if you see the function phi, actually, as we approach this value, this particular value from the left, as we approach this value, the function is positive. That means the function increases as we approach this value from the left, right? As we approach this from the left, and then after going beyond that po po point, the function, the derivative is negative. That means the function decreases after that, right? It decreases after that. That means. The function phi has a maximum at c equals to this particular value. That means, and phi of c is nothing but expectation of y. That is my ex expectation of the net profit. So, expectation of y is maximum at c equals to minus one by lambda times the natural log of b by s. That means, our answer is nothing but this one option A. It's a very easy problem. The only thing we needed to do do is for the from problem is to define the random variables properly. This part. This part is the only important. After that, the only the calculation part says just to do the calculations correctly. That's it. So there you have it. The solution has been done. See you.